Hello my dear students I believe you all are fit and fine and enjoying studies from your home during this period of lockdown and I believe that you all are getting whatever is taught to you So in the previous video we have discussed about habitat and adaptation and we classified plants on the basis of habitat and we observed that plants are broadly classified into two categories and they are terrestrial plants and aquatic plants plants that are found on land that grow on land are known as terrestrial plants and plants that grow in water are known as aquatic plants and in today's video we are going to discuss types of aquatic plants so into how many categories we can classify aquatic plants this we are going to study in today's video so my dear students aquatic plants can be categorized into three categories first one is floating plants second one is submerged plants and third one is fixed plants so these are three main categories into which aquatic plants means the plants which are grow grown in water which are found in water are divided repeat again with me the three categories are floating plants submerged plants and fixed plants and now one by one we will discuss them in detail so let's start firstly we are going to start with floating plants as it is clear from the name that floating plants means the plants which are able to float which can float on water means if we say that jo pani mein tair sakte hain jo pani ke upar hamesha tairte rehte hain those plants are known as floating plants and you know that only those plants will float in water which are light in weight the plants which will be heavy they will not be able to float on water they can't float so they have lightweight bodies and spongy bodies filled with air so for showing you the meaning of word spongy i have a picture see here in this picture these are the sponges so in this way these plants have sponges in which air is filled and this makes the plants able to float on water so in this way these plants are floating and one more thing my dear students roots of these plants are not fixed in the soil in this way they float they have short roots and they are not fixed to the uh, soil which is on the bed of the water body so they keep floating agar aaj aap is ek plant ko is jagah dekh rahe ho suppose water body ke andar tomorrow it may be that you find the same plant here it can float so these are floating plants and examples of floating plants are water hyacinth and pistia speak again with me water hyacinth hyacinth and pistia so this one is water hyacinth and you can easily find this water hyacinth in a pond or in stagnant water in your villages also you can see it the place where dirty water or polluted water is collected it can be easily found there so these are two examples of water these are two examples water hyacinth and pistia which are floating plants i hope floating plants are clear to you and next point is fixed plants so fixed plants from the name it is clear that roots are fixed they have fixed roots suppose this is the level of the water and this is the plant so it and this is the water bed so the roots of this plant will be fixed in the bed so they can't move from one place to other place no they can't move they are fixed to one place their roots are fixed second thing they have broad and flat leaves to get enough air and sunlight for making its food see for example this one so they have broad and flat leaves see like this 
so these leaves easily float on the surface of the water but the roots are fixed in the soil under the water they can't move from one place to other place no they can't move like this but their root, uh, leaves are float um, flat and broad and they float on the surface of the water so that they can easily get sunlight and as you can see they are green in color so they have chlorophyll present in them and they can easily prepare their food they can get sunlight also they can get carbon dioxide from the air also as well so in this way these plants are able to make their own food and examples of these are lotus and water lily so this is lotus and this is water lily both have broad and flat leaves i hope my dear students fixed plants are clear to you see again let's revise the points fixed plants roots are fixed they have broad and flat leaves to get enough air and sunlight for making food and examples are lotus and water lily let's move on next last category of the plants is aquatic plants is submerged plants submerged means they are under water what is the meaning of submerged under water means pani ke niche so it means they are completely submerged in the water wo pani mein puri tarah se doobe hue hote hain suppose this is the level of water so these plants will be found here they are completely under water so this is first thing which you have to understand so these plants are true aquatic plants because they are totally inside water puri tarah se ye pani ke andar hote hain that's why they are known as true aquatic plants and they breathe under water through their body surface they have ribbon like leaves like this they do not have broad and flat leaves they have ribbon like leaves okay and their leaves breathe from the surface they do not have any holes any pores they do not have no stomata is there in these leaves no pore is there in these leaves so and tiny and ribbon or divided leaves see for example like this here you can see the leaves are divided here you can see the leaves are broad uh, sorry the leaves are like ribbon and they can easily float with water in this picture you can see that leaves are easily floating with the water they do not get damaged by the flow of water because they are like ribbon and they can easily flow with water and examples are hydrilla and velsneria what are the examples hydrilla and velsneria and velsneria is also known as tape grass velsneria is also known as tape grass let me show you so this is tape grass this one also and this is example of hydrilla i hope my dear students all the three categories of plants are of aquatic plants are clear to you and now it's time for you to read the topic i will give you one page one pdf attached with this video i will provide you in your groups read the topic same topic from there and understand it completely watch the video again and again till you understand it completely so till then thank you stay home and stay safe